everybody, welcome back to my channel. I was just about to sit down and do my makeup and get ready for the day and I thought why not turn on the camera and show you how I have been doing my makeup on the days that I have been wearing makeup. Um, I have a couple of new additions to my makeup bag that I have been absolutely loving so I thought I would share with you how I have been doing my makeup recently. All I have on now is just a bit of uh, moisturizer and some lip balm and I'm just gonna jump right in. So for my foundation, I've been mixing two different products. Uh, the first one is the It Cosmetics Your Skin But Better CC Cream, and the other is the Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Full Coverage Foundation, which is this guy. So what I like about this is that it's really lightweight, but it also has SPF 50 in it. And then this one just has a bit more coverage in it, so I find these two together make the perfect combination. concealer I am going to use the NARS radiant creamy concealer I cannot count how many times I've repurchased this I just absolutely love it To set my makeup in any places where my makeup tends to crease, which for me is around my mouth, on my forehead, and under my eyes, I am going to go in with the Laura Mercier Invisible Loose Setting Powder. places that I didn't set with the translucent powder I'm gonna go in with the hourglass powder um, in luminous light I just find it adds a nice glow lit from within I'm looking a bit like Casper the Ghost, so I'm gonna go in and add a bit of color back into my face. Um, the bronzer that I have been using that I just recently picked up is the Hoola Light. Um, I found the original Hoola bronzer just too dark for me and too orange, but this one is a perfect um, shade if you have a really fair skin tone, which I obviously do. So I'm going to just warm up my face so I look a little bit more alive. The blush that I have been using, and I have been using this forever, is the Tarte Amazonian Clay 12 Hour Blush in the color Exposed. It's just a very natural flush of pink. My 
my mom always tells me I make a really silly smiling face when I put on my blush. Please tell me you do this too. Okay, and this next thing is new to me and I love it. So I've always been a bit afraid of highlighter because I mean, it looks great. Um, that really intense highlighter that people like to do. Um, I just prefer things to be a little bit more subtle. So I've struggled to find a highlighter that I feel comfortable wearing on an everyday basis, but I found this hourglass one. I have a lot of hourglass things in here. I must really like them. So I found this hourglass um, strobe lighting powder and I got the color euphoric strobe light and it looks like this and it's so pretty and I find I don't have to be careful about applying too much of it it's just a really subtle natural glow so just on the tops of my cheekbones I really have no idea what I'm doing with highlighter I pretty much by the end of all of this have it everywhere but again, it's so natural that I don't look like a disco ball, which is good. And then I'm just gonna go in with my powder brush and just make sure everything's all blended so there's no harsh lines. Okay, what is next? Eyebrows. So to fill in my eyebrows, I have been using the Anastasia, Anastasia, Ana, I'm gonna go with Anastasia, Beverly Hills. Um, I've used so much of it that I've sharpened the name of it off. Gonna get a closer mirror so I can see what I'm doing. Now is the fun part, the eyes. This is a relatively new addition for me within the past month or so, and I have just been loving all of these really warm shades, uh, especially now that the weather's gotten a bit cooler, I've been loving the warm eyeshadow. Um, so I'm gonna play with this palette today too. Um, on an everyday basis though, I've been sticking to the lighter end of the palette. So I'm gonna go in first with the second color, Chaser, and just put it all over my lid. And to deepen it up a bit, I'm gonna go in with Sauce. so you can actually see what I'm doing. So I'm just gonna take the two colors that I use on my eyelids, the Chaser and Sauced colors, and I'm just gonna mix those on a smaller brush and just bring them under my lower lash line. I'm also gonna use some of the shadows in this palette to act as eyeliner. I do love liquid liner, but for an everyday, I find shadows are just a bit softer. So I've either been using this color here, En Fuego, En Fuego, or Ashes. Um, I think I'm just gonna mix them both today, mix it up. So a bit of a more red color and a bit more of a really deep purple. Also gonna take a little bit of that hourglass highlighter and just pop that in the inner corners of my eyes and on my brow bone. Okay, I'm gonna go 
in and curl my lashes. The mascara that I have been using recently is the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. realize I'm making that awful mascara face that everyone makes. I don't know what it is, but going like just somehow helps with mascara application. Okay, so next is lips. Um, I already have a little bit of lip balm on, which I find helps when I'm putting any lipstick on, just to make it feel a little bit more comfortable. The lipstick that I have been loving is the Bite Beauty, um, what's it called? Amuse Bouche Liquefied Lip, and the color is Chutney. These are crazy, crazy pigmented. So what I've been doing is just scraping off the majority of the product because, as I said, crazy pigmented. Um, and then I'm just going to put it on my lips. I have been doing my makeup again on the days that I have been wearing makeup there are a lot of days during the week where it's just no makeup but yeah I hope you enjoyed seeing how I have been doing my makeup recently and all of the new little bits that I have been loving if you did you know the drill give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I will see you very soon in a new video bye